Bernadette's godmothers, it is an extraordinary honor and a privilege to join all of you on this very special day and to share some wise and we hope inspiring thoughts on married life as Bernadette and Casey begin this next chapter of their lives. <laughs> Both of us have been married for a while, many years, and have learned that you nourish your relationship in the tapestry of your life together. Give me more loving than I've ever had. Make it all better when I'm feeling sad. Tell me that I'm special even when I know I'm not. Good evening, good evening, everyone. Uh, I just wanted to start off by thanking everyone for joining us tonight to celebrate the start of uh, Bernadette and Casey's life together. It's the start of what is an amazing to date friendship. It's easy as one, two, one, there's two, three, four. only one thing to do. Three. Casey is a happy person, I would say. He has a very good outlook, a very good uh, temperament. It complements Bernadette's uh, personality, too. You guys, uh, what you share is an inspiration to all of us. I hope you will be happy for many, many, many years. So if you could all raise your glasses with us to a lifetime full of love, happiness, health, and good memories. To Bernadette and Casey. pretty clear early on. They like they have similar interests. They're both in fitness, they both are pretty quiet, uh, you know, laid back people. You wouldn't see either of them out like, you know, partying hard or anything like that. They're they're more genuine, just you want to have a good time with good friends kind of people. So they just immediately clicked and I, I mean it was it was clear to me early on. You're married now, look at you. You can stop smiling. You, it's, it's been, the, for me, the best part is just seeing that. It's, you know, it's genuine, it's real, and it's just, it makes me feel just settled all as well. So, congratulations on that. A million flavors of your chapstick The way that you keep my heart captive You can't help but start to think about when they were when they were younger. Journey concert in AC Bernadette was, and still is, just bright-eyed, very bright girl. Like simple things, when she was playing outside, it was just running around, having a good time. She didn't need a lot of friends over. Some of them were make-believe. To be my wife, to together. You get a new name, I think, to be a princess. Do you want a new name or you want to be Princess Leanna? Now that your hair and makeup is done, you are walking, correct? That you are my heart. Even her sleepovers, it'd just be make believe things there, but we thought that was normal. She liked to play school. I don't know if you recall Miss Ashby's class in the basement. She would invite the, the neighbor's kids over, and, they, and they'd show up, which fed them, taught them manners. Things you do to show you care. You're always down for truth or dare. Freeze this moment. Let me stop and stay. Yeah. Casey and Bernard, future together. In terms of friends with me, personal friendship, he's just... He's just a reliable guy. I, everything that he does is, you know, with others in mind and not himself. And I can't wait for you to be my wife, but you are my heart forever. He's the guy that you can talk to about anything, whether it's, you know, uh, a relationship or it's, you know, a new face product that he got that he's uh, trying to get you to buy that's overpriced or something like that. So he's just an all-around good guy. You go. I need you to know that you are my heart forever and on and on and on. 
And we'll go on and on and on. I remember the process of him online dating. We were kind of uncomfortable telling people how we met and like, you know, making up like blind date stories or whatever. I always knew that Casey and Bernadette were gonna end up together because Casey was just always head over heels for Bernadette. I can't wait for you to be my wife, to live this life. We were out all day and I was starving I mean, like, and I had like just this fierce hunger and we got down to a lift and she pulled out this protein bar. So I was so hungry and I like, looked over and she like looked at me and like realized I was hungry and like broke half off and gave it to me and I was like, A, you have a protein bar, you're perfect for Casey, B, you're sharing with me, like you obviously are a great person too, like, you guys are perfect for each other. Totally different than I thought it'd be. What do you think it was going to be? Well, I thought you, so you've been talking about so much of like the lacy. We, I just say yes and you to went, everything you, you told me. you went the exact opposite. <laughs> I love it. It's so pretty. I really feel like both of them, once they commit to someone, they commit extremely hard and they don't let go of them. It's very impressive on both of their ends. The speeches at the rehearsal showed that all of his friends, the common word was loyalty. And the rib that the Lord God had taken from the man, he made into a woman and brought her to the man. It does not rejoice in wrongdoings, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. Grant that their wills may be knit together in your will and their spirits in your spirit, that they may grow in love and peace with you and one another all the days of their life. We know that all marriage goes through stages and Casey and Bernadette, I want to just rehearse for you along with all the, everyone else here, the five stages that marriages go through. The stage one, first stage, we may call it passion prevails. That's the stage of what happened when you guys, you first got together in September of 2009, and I know, I know the stars seem to go before your eyes, at least with Casey. I know he was head over heels, and the passion was there. Celebrate that time, that's the first stage in your marriage, but just know that you know, after a while it'll begin to wane, which would lead to stage two. Stage two is, what was I thinking? <laughs> At that stage, you really wake up to the fact that whatever happened to the Bernadette that the computer said was there. Whatever happened to that nice, smiling uh, guy? Whatever happened to the one who had uh, all that hair? <laughs> And once you find out that person is not the idealized human being that you thought you had married, then it can set the stage for something else. And that leads to stage three. This couple spends the next couple of years trying to mold the other person into whom they want them to be. Now, Casey, let me tell you, this does not work. <laughs> And then that would lead to stage four in the marriage. Stage four is, well, that's just the way he or she is. Acceptance comes through. Stage five in the marriage, together at last. Together at last. Hi, Casey. Take you, Bernadette. Take you, Bernadette. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death.
until we are departed by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. In the name of God. I Bernadette. I Bernadette. Take you, Casey. Take you, Casey. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. And if you Bernadette. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. And, and with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Times may be hard, but we are Casey, strong. you may kiss the bride. to do our due diligence on the subject of marriage with a few purported experts on the subject. Encourage and support your spouse's dreams. Shoot for the moon, even if you miss, you will land amongst the stars. Do something completely unexpected. Find delight in the unexpected gestures. Remember to say thank you for the day-to-day -day things. And as George Patton said, always do more than is required of you. True love does not come by finding the perfect person, but by learning to see an imperfect person perfectly. Keep it simple. My grandfather would always say, these are two words that are the key to a successful marriage. Yes, dear. My grandmother, who usually had the last word, had her favorite rebuttal, you may be right, dear. A 2007 study published by the National Institute of Health found that hugs and cuddles have long-term effects on helping the brain, heart, and other major body parts. <laughs> Now 
then sometimes she would she would stop and almost like she was taking her little breather with the horse and then and then begin again. I miss that. You can keep doing it if you like. <laughs> so we were we were watching. We never had to get a real horse. That's all on you now, buddy. Legacy. When you marry, you are surrounded by your family who love you and wish forever for your happiness. This is your legacy of love. Bliss. Bernadette and Casey, seeing you today, you embody. Bliss. In your love for each other and your obvious pleasure in the moment. This luminous effervescence. Bubble of love will surround, protect, lighten the challenges of your life. I see a good future for them ahead, I really do. And it's been wonderful to see that change from little bright-eyed girl. You know, I think happiness rubs off on people. I have a quote, it's actually from a five-year-old girl in a book I read a while back. It says, love, is when a girl puts on perfume and a guy puts on shaving cologne and they go out and smell each other. <laughs> so congratulations. I wish you I wish you all the best. Who's ever in charge of the cake? Father Bride gets a square corner piece with lots of icing. I guess for me, I've been in a few weddings, and I feel like she was the calmest bride, and from what I gather from the groomsmen, Casey was extremely calm as well. They balance each other out. Casey seems more extroverted, Bean is more reserved. But yeah, I think she was head over heels pretty quick. I think that was obvious. They were very happy very fast. We have something to give you as a reminder to keep the memory afloat. May we all raise our bubbles and toast this extraordinary couple. Scent of scumbag. We're in the courting stage. I feel a lot of heat yeah. coming off your body right now.
is not 91. They have been married, I want to say 66 years in a row. <laughs> you guys are going on about three hours. Keep up the good work. <laughs>